Have you ever stopped to think about how your phone knows when you turn it sideways? Or how an airplane keeps its orientation mid-flight, even through clouds or turbulence? The answer to both questions, and many more, lies in a fascinating little device called a gyroscope. It's one of those things that quietly works behind the scenes in modern technology, yet we rarely give it a second thought. Today, we're pulling back the curtain to explore how gyroscopes are made and the huge role they play in navigation systems all around the world, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, a gyroscope is a device used to measure rotation. It tells us how fast something is turning and in which direction. The basic idea behind a gyroscope is the principle of angular momentum. When an object spins, it wants to keep spinning in the same orientation. That property, its resistance to changes in direction, is exactly what makes a gyroscope so useful for detecting motion. The original gyroscope design is pretty simple. Imagine a spinning wheel suspended inside a set of rings called gimbals. These rings allow the wheel to tilt in multiple directions. Once the wheel starts spinning, it resists being tilted, and that resistance can be measured to determine rotation. That's how early gyroscopes worked, and the same principle still applies today, even though the technology has evolved quite a bit. There are several different types of gyroscopes in use today, each with unique advantages depending on the application. The traditional mechanical gyroscope, the one with a spinning rotor, is still used in some heavy-duty settings like ships and certain aircraft. Then we have optical gyroscopes, which use light instead of a spinning mass to detect rotation. These are common in high-precision fields like aviation and space travel. And finally, there are MEMS gyroscope tiny chip-sized sensors that are everywhere, from your phone and smartwatch to drones and virtual reality headsets. So how exactly are these gyroscopes made? Let's begin with the mechanical type. The heart of a mechanical gyroscope is the rotor which needs to spin at very high speeds. The rotor is typically machined from a dense balance metal like steel or aluminum alloy. Precision is key here. If the rotor isn't perfectly symmetrical, it won't spin smoothly, and the gyroscope will give inaccurate readings. This part is usually created on a lathe, often in a high-precision machine shop. Once the rotor is made, it's mounted inside a series of gimbals. These are metal rings that support the rotor and allow it to pivot on multiple axes. The entire assembly needs to be almost frictionless, so high-quality ball bearings are used at the pivot points. A small motor or electric mechanism is attached to get the rotor spinning, often at thousands of revolutions per minute. All of this is usually housed in a protective casing, and in many cases, the interior is vacuum sealed to reduce air resistance and friction even further. Mechanical gyroscopes are reliable and sturdy, but they're bulky. That's where MEMS gyroscopes come in. MEMS stands for Microelectromechanical Systems. These are tiny devices, sometimes smaller than a grain of rice, that work on similar principles but without any spinning wheels. Instead, they rely on vibrating elements etched onto a silicon chip. The manufacturing process for a MEMS gyroscope starts with a silicon wafer, the same type used in computer processors. Using a method called photolithography, light is used to etch extremely tiny mechanical structures onto the wafer. These structures include micro-sized beams or plates that vibrate in a specific pattern. When the chip rotates, those vibrations shift ever so slightly. That shift is detected by electrical sensors, and the data is converted into information about how the device is moving. 
Building an optical gyroscope is no small feat. The laser system has to be assembled with microscopic precision, and the internal components, like the mirrors and beam splitters, must be perfectly aligned. Even the slightest imperfection in the optical path could throw off the measurements. That's why these devices are built in highly controlled environments and go through rigorous quality checks. So now that we know how gyroscopes are made, let's talk about why they're so important, especially in navigation. In aviation, gyroscopes are a key part of what's called an inertial navigation system, or INS. These systems don't rely on GPS. Instead, they use gyros and accelerometers to calculate position based on movement from a known starting point. This is especially useful in situations where GPS signals might be weak or unavailable, such as in military operations or deep sea exploration. Gyroscopes also help aircraft maintain stability and orientation. For example, they keep the artificial horizon in your cockpit level, even if the plane is turning or banking. That kind of information is critical for safe flying especially in poor visibility. In space, gyroscopes are essential. Since there's no GPS and no atmosphere, spacecraft use gyroscopes to determine their orientation. Without them, it would be almost impossible to aim satellites, perform maneuvers, or land on other planets with any kind of accuracy. Even your car probably has a few gyroscopes on board. They're used in anti-lock braking systems, electronic stability control, and even advanced features like self-parking. In smartphones, gyroscopes work alongside accelerometers to detect motion and orientation. That's how your phone knows when to rotate the screen or how your fitness tracker knows when you're walking versus jogging. At the end of the day, gyroscopes are one of the most elegant and essential technologies in modern engineering. From massive aircraft to tiny wearables, they help us stay oriented, balanced, and moving in the right direction. And while they might go unnoticed most of the time, the world as we know it simply couldn't function without them. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.